Hey YouTube, Rick's here. In this video, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna have a little bit of fun with this AFMAT dry erase material. So don't go anywhere right after this short intro. We'll get right into it. Okay, well, what I was going to do is, uh, if you see over here on my wall, I have writing and I didn't write on my wall there's dry erase material on this wall and I made a whole video on how you can turn any wall or tabletop or smooth surface into a dry erase board and after I was done putting that video together showing you how I put this material up on the wall here I went to the editing software and discovered my footage was lost. I don't know what happened to it. All I know is I don't want to have to put the stuff on more wall. So what I thought I would do is what we're is going to put it on this material right here. It's a smooth, very thin plywood board. You can get it at any uh, Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever, a hardware store. And I'm going to put a couple of holes on it. You can hang it wherever you want. You can have it on your lap, whatever. And you can pretend it's a tabletop, for example, like I have right here. So we will use this material that you see right here. And this, you can see, has already been cut because I had already done it on the wall here. And so this is what we're going to use to put it on that board and make a dry erase board from it. Now this material came to me from the folks over at AFMAT. I get a lot of different products from them. I really like it. And uh, I said, hey, send me this stuff because this is where I do my review videos that you see only my hands showing you how things work. And many times I need notes to remember the main points about the products that I'm talking about. So I would have a piece of paper off to the side and I would have to pause and look over there. And I says, you know what? It sure would be great if I could have these notes right in front of me. Sure, I could tape them on the wall or I can just write with the, my uh, marker here on the dry erase. When I'm done, I can erase it. As you can see, it comes right off. And then I can write something completely different for the next video. That is what we are going to do. Let's get to it. Okay, now it doesn't really take much materials in order to do this. Uh, I got a pair of scissors here. I got an exacto blade here. Uh, some kind of a lint-free cloth because we're going to have to clean this surface off. And you can use alcohol because uh, it evaporates really fine. Or you can use screen cleaner. It really doesn't matter. Just something that won't leave an oily film or anything because we want to make sure that the dry uh, erase material, the tackiness, will stick to the board here. So I'm going to take uh, this cloth, for example, and I'm just going to spray some of this uh, screen cleaner and just go over real quick. Maybe there's some fine wood dust, whatever it may be. If it's your, your desk or your walls, uh, there could be uh, oils that collect over time so you know, or dust, so you definitely don't want anything on the area that you're going to apply the dry erase material. Okay, so that should do it, and we're good. And because it's uh, like an alcohol base, it will evaporate really, really quick. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I wanna cut the material, and to make this thing easy, I'm gonna roll it out and you'll notice that on the back of this material here, it has this uh, grid. That's the back. And of course, the white part is the shiny part. Now, I decided to do this on uh, carpeting so that there'll be no damage done to the dry erase side of this material. And so moving this out of the way, be careful when rolling this out, don't crease it you'll leave permanent creases in the material. You want to be very careful with that. 
So I'm going to go ahead and just roll this out. And see, hopefully I have enough material to do this after having uh, used it for my, my wall. And it looks like I just have enough right there. Or actually I'm going to do it all the way down here. So let's just say about right there. Now I would suggest that if you, with a brand new roll, that you you cut a little bit uh, wider, which is what I'll do over here, for example. I'm going to cut a little bit wider, but you want to do it on all fours because it'll make it easier to apply this, and you can just trim the excess off with the Exacto blade. So making sure I have that on there well. Okay, good. Now I'm going to go ahead and just cut it a little bit wider than what I need. All right, good. And then I can use the rest of that to make smaller ones and so forth. They come in four foot by six foot sheets. Plenty for a large wall or a lot of small surface areas. All depends on what you want to do with it. Okay, now that I have the material cut to size, this is the side I, I have nice and clean. What we want to do is we want to peel off this material, the backing. So just get it started. Okay, there we go. Get it zoomed in there. And you can see we have this nice shiny metallic look. Now try not to get your finger on there because uh, you know it's going to get some of the oils of your hands in there and it could cause it to uh, not adhere very well. I haven't had any problems so far but it's better to be on the safe side. So anyway what you want to do is just start it all the way like this. Be careful not to crimp it. And what I like to do is I like to fold down the backing like this so it doesn't fold back on itself and get in your way. That's really annoying. I know from experience. So there we go. Perfect. All right, so now that you get that started, this is really easy to do. Now, if you're doing a very uh, large wall or something, it's better to have someone to help you because you'd want to level it and the whole bit. But this is a small project. You know, let's just say you were doing your tabletop. You can do it by yourself. Okay, so next thing I want to do is make sure here that, yep, this is the right way. So I'm going to go right to the edge here and apply that and then get your cloth and just press down to make it all nice and flush okay get make sure there's no air bubbles whatsoever and this gets it nice and started okay now what I want to do is I'm going to reach in here for the you can see the little part that I folded out and I'm going to start pulling on it and while I'm pulling on it I'm going to go behind it like this and I'm going to press down with the cloth so here we go I'm going to grab it I'm going to... Went a little too fast there but here we go all right just take your time Making sure to get all the air bubbles out.
something there. Pull that back. And that was a little piece of wood. I didn't get it all out. Okay, there we go. Got it. All right. And just go over it and make sure you get all the air bubbles. Looks like I left that in there, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Come on out, little guy. Now that's really nice. Okay, just use your cloth and smooth that out and then you've got yourself a nice little dry erase marker board. There we go. And you just go all the way down and trim. Alright, well that completes this project and as you can see I have me a really nice dry erase board and I'll just take it into my garage and I'm going to uh, put a couple of holes in here so that I can put hooks let's say I want to put a couple of hooks on my wall or something and hang it up or on some other area or maybe on my bookcase here as a temporary place have it hang as I do a video and then I can take it off and put it away and uh, let's see how it works huh? I've got a couple of pins here so, all right, we got the, the aft mat. Change colors. I should mention it comes with uh, these markers here. I got a black and a blue. This is dry erase. Dry erase material, okay. Look at that, this stuff writes great. Okay, it comes in a four foot by six foot roll. It's really, really massive. I only cut a part of it out to do this wall. I only cut the, a little bit of there. I still have some of that left. And I even have another roll. This is, this is the way that it's shipped to you. Actually, it's in another box. <laughs> All right, there we go. We're good to go. Golden. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this short video on how to make your own uh, dry erase board, whether you put it on a wall, whether you put it on a table, whether you put it on a piece of plywood, doesn't matter. You can have yourself a, a, an area to put all your notes and so forth. So. I hope you like this video, so please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please go click on the subscribe and the notification bell so you will be informed of my next video, and I will see you then. Thanks for watching.